suspected suicide bomber blows self up in Eboyi. On hearing the sound of the explosion, residents of the area scampered for safety. A middle-aged man suspected to be a suicide bomber has killed has been killed in an explosion in the Afikbo local government area of Ebonyi State. The incident occurred around 11.30 a.m. on Tuesday opposite Campus 2 of Amaizu Amangbala Primary School in Afikbo LGA of the state. A resident of the area who spoke to leadership on condition of anony anonymity said on hearing the sound of the explosion residents of the area scampered for safety. He said the yet-to-be-identified man was carrying explosives which exploded and killed him instantly. He noted that after a few minutes, the residents went to the scene of the incident and discovered the suspect suicide bomber in a pool of blood. He was dead already. The resident who pointed out that the incident happened close to the Eke market in Afikbo, which happens to be the biggest market in the area, added that there was tension and apprehension in the community following the incident. According to the source, suspected bomber was earlier spotted wandering in the area. He first came to a beer parlor and when the people inquired who he was, he left, the source said. He was he was said to have moved to the school side and when the gateman asked him to go back, he made an effort to remove his clothes and that was why the explosive went off. Efforts to the reaction efforts to get the reactions of the Airborne State Public Relations Officer, DSP Lovert Oda, and the State Commissioner for Internal Security, Border Peace and Conflict Resolutions, Chief Stanley Emega, proved abortive as well as severe calls put across to them were not answered. I mean pff. How can you have a big name like that? Okay, fine. Well, we are used to police public relations officer, but then if you if your if your title is state commissioner for internal security, border peace and conflict resolutions, how can you not be available or how can you not be accessible at that time of all times? You know, um, so this is very much suspicious, and of course, this is is gaining a lot of traction, and of course, it's very much strange because you you. you it leaves you asking, okay, so who sent this person? Um, because again, again, this happens in a point state, which is in the southeast, and of course, with tensions of suicide bombing and where it normally tends to happen is basically with you know Boko Haram insurgents, and it's it's known amongst them. And of course, understanding the recent clashes between between the north and the well herders and farmers in the southeast. Um, and obviously the ban open grazing, all that just adds tension and um, it just fuels more unproductive, inefficient conversations in which will be diverted into other things. But again, what should be the next line of action? Well, in, in a normal country, um, investigations will take place and the people will be updated and be given reason to become in such situation but then again we understand that nigeria is not a normal country so what would happen it would be rare that that an investigation would take place except the people in the land are well in a boring state forge for that and are like you know what we do not care there has to be an investigation or it's just left and i think it will just be left i mean to be honest chief of army staff died ibrahim atahiru and the preparations for him and his send off was not as great as it should be because he's like the number one person almost in the military and you know with all his efforts this is the result of it um so yeah let's look at what the comment section is saying the first person says we chased flanny hairsman out of emboing state now they have come with suicide mission but then again it's like it's obviously not confirmed you can't say things like that however you cannot be surprised that this would be sort of people's reaction or first instances because again there is an ethnic clash as much as yes fine the herders are doing something that is obviously illegal and and criminal you can't deny that between that what the underlying issues are also fueled um the underlying issues like you know eth um, tribalism and ethnic whatever they are they are the ones that literally fuel the sort of clash that is going on between the herders and the people um somebody says all these problems can only be nipped in the bud when a sovereign state of biafra is created no militarization can stop it just like what is happening in the north 
governors, government should never make the mistake of killing any leader or commander of any group of fraternity. It is a costly mistake. Okay. Um, okay. Someone says that's one of the benefits of joining APC, but I'm I'm so confused. We don't know who this person is, and investigations have not been, you know, taken for us to have an idea of who might have sent this person, the kind of explosive that was used, where that explosive can be bought. You know, investigations like that, of course, I'm, we're not out here trying to be investigators, but these are questions that are, when it comes to just basic thinking, we should be asking, be asking ourselves. Um, but then we have intelligence teams in the country that should do that. Um, someone says, Ever since Governor Omahi went to APC, his northern friends have come to practice practice their trade in Eboi. Um, again, uh, this just, please, before we jump into any conclusions, we need to make certain decisions about what is, you know. I mean, again, in a country where we're not even sure investigations will be made, we really only run on assumptions, to be very honest. So again, it's not shocking why everyone is out here assuming. But then again, you have to understand when it comes to suicide bombing the rate at which that kind of thing happens is um with terrorist groups and so you know it's and obviously nigeria where terrorist groups are literally everywhere um it's not surprising to think that okay fine it should be a work of boko haram or someone else um so yeah that's it someone also says a boy has the biggest islamic training center in nigeria that's maybe one of the Igbo trainees hmm Please go into detail. Doesn't make sense. Um, someone says, now the government, Flani government, want to infiltrate the southeast with violence. Please keep watch in the east and keep your guard high and be alert. Well, don't you think there's a, there's a limit to that? How much, how alert can you be, especially when your life is in danger? And um, we can't, can't really say anything about that. But to be honest, again, it's very, very much weird and the fact that it, the person potentially could have gone to a school but then was sent back by a gate man. Now, this is very scary because then it's now, it's now like, okay, fine, who sent you? I think we can't take this lightly. Absolutely not. Um, so, yeah, put what you think about this in the comment section below. And um, do not forget to like and subscribe.